Hello guys and welcome back to another Star Wars video from me and today we're going to take a look at my complete Clone Wars collection uh, basically I'm going to do this video because uh, in the past year I think I've been really getting into Clone Wars collecting I bought a bunch of stuff and my collection is pretty big um, at the moment I'm still missing you know a few clones um, but I'm going to explain that all of that later but before we begin this video I want to give a big shout out to my friend who just made his new YouTube channel that is called Collecting Unleashed. Definitely check out his channel, he has a few videos already uh, up on his channel. I've been uh, a friend of his, I don't know, almost 8 years, I think 8, 9 years. Um, and he has had a few different channels throughout the years. But this is his new one, this is his new and improved one. Um, Go check him out, he's awesome, he definitely deserves the love, the subscribers, the views, everything. So please go check him out, I will put a link in the description box below. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna start off with my Clone Wars collection video. Um, and that is, gonna start off here with the villain shelf. Uh, which is my favorite uh, shelf to be honest, of the, of the two. I like both of my shelves. I before that, if you guys remember, remember in my old room, I had a one shelf for all my Clone Wars stuff, but I <laughs> definitely outgrew uh, that one shelf because now there are two shelves full of Clone Wars stuff. And as you guys can see right here, I finally put up the Mandalorian Assault Transport, the transport from the Mandalorians in the Clone Wars. Uh, I put this up together with some Death Watch figures, as you guys can see. In the uh, vehicle itself, there are five Death Watch figures in there. Then we have uh, Pre Vizsla there. You have two, not one, but two Mandalorians on the speeder. I recently got a second one, that is. I'm very happy with that. And then, recently, to ha add some more army builders to my display, I bought the Mandalorian Battle, uh, Mandalorian Warriors Battle Pack. It's an awesome battle pack. And the main reason why I got this one is because this guy right here, this is a very exclusive figure in that set. Comes with exclusive weapons, exclusive gauntlets. Definitely worth the pickup. So uh, I got that. That is basically. My Mandalorian display. As you guys can see, we have the transport, the figures, and also, if you guys can see in the back here, there are a bunch of carded figures from Clone Wars. These are all my carded figures. I don't have a bunch of them, but there are like seven or seven or of them, I believe. So, um, yeah, if you take a look here, this is where I put up my uh, sit kind of. Uh, characters, the characters that wield lightsabers. So in the front you can see Darth Sidious, Emperor Palpatine. The camera wants to focus. And then we have Count Dooku, which has the uh, soft goods cape, which is an awesome figure. Came with a speeder, a Savage Ventress, Savage Opress, and the Night Sister Savage Opress with his lightsaber, the armored version that is. We have Darth Maul, this is the mission series Darth Maul. Uh, doesn't really belong in the Clone Wars animated style, but it's a really cool figure and it is wearing, the figure is wearing one of the outfits that he wore in the Clone Wars TV show. We have General Grievous, of course, with his cloth cape. Also a really cool figure. And Darth Maul with the robotic legs. Next to that, we have Grievous's wheel bike. Really cool pickup, I did that a few months ago, I believe. Really cool little thing. And then in the back, if you guys can see that behind it is the Magna Guard fighter from Cat Bane, the Xanadu Blood. I have the regular Magna Guard fighter as well, but I don't have any uh, room to display this piece off. Uh, in the back, gonna take a look at the guarded figures right now. Two Cat Banes, two different ones. The uh, red carded one is my favorite version. It's also, it's, I have some really great memories of that figure, so have that. Behind Mandalorian Transport, I don't know if you guys can see that well, but I have two carded figures, Pre Vizsla and General Grievous, the battle damage version. I have a carded Pre Vizsla, I recently bought that. I really want one, uh, especially since you know the Mandalorian came out and you had the Darksaber stuff and all, so it 
yeah, really wanted one for my collection. Uh, in the back there we have a Soka figure that is my signed Soka figure. This is signed by Ashley Eckstein, the voice actor from Ahsoka Tano. Then we have in the back there we have Ahsoka in her scuba outfit gear. Sorry for the harsh light. And then the Riot Control Clone Trooper. So as you guys can see my carded figures aren't uh, all villains, but um, yeah. Um, I, I had to put them up somewhere and this is the perfect place. Uh, going to the gangster side, I'm gonna call it that. Gangster side of the shelf, we have Cat Bane on his speeder together with Aura Singh on there. I've had this going on, this sort of display with these two figures for years now and I still love it. So I definitely recreated it here on my new, my, my new uh, collection room. Uh, let's start from the back here. We have Jabba the Hutt, the Clone Wars version of Jabba the Hutt. Finally added that one to the collection, also very recently. And I put him up on the vintage Jabba the Hutt throne. Now for some people that is complete blasphemy. I mean vintage and modern mi mixing is not done for some of these, uh, for some people. But um, I really want to put him higher and I don't have a spare modern throne for Jabba. So definitely put him up there. Really cool. Um, next to him we have his bartender in Clone Wars. His bartender, oh man. Sorry for the glare. We have the bartender that is from the Entertainment Earth Droid Factory pack. We have his little uh, translator droid, which is female. Uh, on his throne are Geonosian a zombie, um, uh, and that Geonosian, I believe, the zombie version of the Geonosian. Cat Bane is on there, and in the back you can see Kato Paraziti. Put the, put her up there as well. Uh, then going to down, we have um, it's not Watt Tambor, it's uh, Coltesca. Coltesca, that's his name from the Clone Wars. It's a video game, I believe. We have Cat Bane in disguise. Clone Trooper Denal disguise, Hondo Onaka with a pirate, and I got his little pirate droid to go along with him. We have Robinho, we have the three tactical droids, uh, the three different ones that came out. I recently added TX20 to my collection. That one has a really cool hologram of Wat Wat Tambor in his hands. Um, to get that, going down there we have Bosk, Ambo, Serapas. Uh, the blue guy, can't remember his name, Lotsam I believe, Wart Lotsam or something like that. Kato, uh, no, Kato Paris is there. Uh, Castus, the two different versions of Boba Fett. Cat Bane with Turtle 360. And we have uh, one of my favorite figures actually, Ganect. With the bartender of Zero D Hut. So as you guys can see, quite an extensive uh, bad guy display and sorry for shaking the camera around a lot but that is basically my bad guy display here of Clone Wars Mandalorians we got the lightsaber wielding guys and then we have the smugglers gangsters whatever kind of guy so that is my bad guy display let's move on to my good guy display Hey guys, I'm back and um, I stepped down from my ladder because this shelf is way up. It's just too high to film like that. But I stepped down from my ladder to show you guys my good guy display. So that's basically all the Jedi, all the droids, and all the clone troopers. Now basically for this side or this shelf, um, how I did it was first of all, I put up these Jedi Starfighters, as you guys can see. Four Jedi Starfighters we have uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi's one, Obi-Wan Kenobi ones, ones, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, Kit Fisto, we have Anakin's, Anakin one, the one from Anakin, and Ahsoka as Jedi Starfighter. So I got those put up first. Then uh, what I did is the best version of the character I put next to the vehicle. As you guys can see, we have the season three outfit of Ahsoka with Anakin that is one of those um, later releases in the uh, Yoda green card packaging. And then we have Kit Fisto of course next to him, Obi-Wan. So that's how I dis 
uh, start this display and uh, in the back I all when I displayed these ships and the best figures in front of the ship I put up all the uh, different variations of that same character so say Obi-Wan there's like two variations of Obi-Wan in the back next to the ship as well that's how I started this display after that was all set up I basically put up all my clone troopers in the front together with a few smaller Jedi because otherwise you can't really see them but uh yeah, big display as well. I'm gonna take a look right now. I'm gonna start off here with the clone troopers. Uh what the hell? Out of bread already. So we have fives and echo, uh hard case in the back. No, Jesse, I'm sorry, hard case here in the front. Jesse is a really cool figure. Really hope they make an arc trooper figure out of him one day. Uh we have clone trooper draw in the back there. Um so next to uh, Fives and Echo, I put up all the regular Phase 1 clones, though the ones in the white armor. And also my collection is not, um, I don't base my collection off of regular clone troopers. I don't collect regular clone troopers, I only collect the named clone troopers. So the clone troopers that have a name like Rex, Gree, Draw, stuff like that, I collect those Echo Fives. So this is Sergeant Slick. This is Gus, the one with the small little beard pieces. Commander Blackout, really cool figure, the special ops figure. This is Chopper, and this guy has one of my favorite accessories of the entire line. This necklace that he is uh, holding in his hands is a battle droid necklace. Those are battle droid fingers, so really, really cool. Uh, in the back we have the Null, Matchstick, so then we go to the pilots, Matchstick, Goji, Warthog. I also have a oddball, but those are in my uh, other display um, up on my shelves. And I also have the other pilot, the Y-Wing sort of pilot, the special one, but also in his little vehicle. Then we have the anti-hailfire um, droid commander, really cool figure. I don't really want all the other ones from this set, but this is just an awesome little figure. I really wanted him. I really like the commanders as well. Uh, then we have in the back, we have the Bomb Squad Clone Trooper, uh, Captain J Fawn, one of the Sand Guards, and of course, Captain Argy is my favorite one. I still need to get the regular Sand Guards for uh, my collection. And then we go into Utapa a little bit, the uh, 212 Battalion. We have Cody. Phase 2, Cody Phase 1 in the back, and Waxer and Boyle next to him. A little Yoda, of course, the best Yoda version. And then we go into 501st, Echo and Fives in their Defend Camino outfit, and they are uh, proceeded by Captain Rex, and that is the best version of the Phase 1 Captain Rex, it's basically from the Shadows of the Dark Side packaging, the same wave as Serapaz and Armored Savage, very cool figure, but very hard to find nowadays, I believe. We have Phase 2 Captain Rex. Sorry for the harsh light. Phase 2 Captain Rex. Uh, then we have Phase 1 Captain Rex, and it's also one of my favorites. This is from the uh, Arc Trooper Battle Pack. This one has a really cool sniper. Then we have a mixer and uh, uh, what's Red Eye. Yeah, Red Eye and Mixer. Uh, Evan Peel on this shelf. And then we go into the Wolf Pack Troopers and the Coruscant stuff. We have, of course, Captain Wolf, Clone Commander Wolf, Phase 2, with um, Boost and Sinker behind him, and two uh, little uh, space clones, I mean, space gear clones, but they are Wolf Pack Troopers, so I really want two of those. And we have uh, Wolf Phase 1 in the back there. We have the right control clone trooper. The first one I actually had was the carded version. I just did not want to open it up. So I bought a loose one for a pretty good price. Um, so really cool figure. <clears throat> then we have Commander Stone. Uh, Commander Fox. We have Captain Fox. Um, Captain or Commander Pons. Yeah, Commander Pons. We have Tyre and we have Jack. I'm still missing Reese uh, for this. This, the tire crew, so it's one of the it's first episode in the Clone Wars, I believe, where, in which uh, Yoda defends um, that one planet together with Tyre, Reese, and Jack. I'm still missing Reese for that display. 
Going to the Genosis side of the display, we have uh, all three different versions of the R Trooper, so Waxer and Boyle, and also a uh, Trapper, which came in the battle pack, and then we have two Commander Jets, so I have one with without the antennas on his helmet, and then the other one is holding, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, tough to see, but he is holding his helmet, and that one has the antennas. Uh, this guy also usually does not come with a head sculpt, but I put one on there, pretty cool. We have a Captain Lock, Commander Gree, and Commander Bly. And then to finish this first part off, we have two 501st Jetpack Troopers, so I really like those. Phase 2 clones are awesome, and um, I mean, I want to get more of these, but, but um, I can't fit them in my display, so I'll just keep it, I'll just stick to two of these guys. Then we have two regular Phase 2 clones. Um, I'm still getting two more in, and that is from my buddy Collecting a Leash, like I already said. Check out his channel, but he has uh, two of the, those for me. Uh, next to that, we have some more Phase 2 clone troops. We have um, what is it? Boost and Sinker in their Phase 2 outfit. Um, so they came in a battle pack together with uh, Commander Wolf, of course. And then we have those really cool guys from uh, Season 3, L. Les and Sergeant Brick. Those uh, train the clone, the new clone cadets at the uh, academy into their first battle, basically really cool. And then my uh, favorite ones, of course, the ARC Troopers. I have all five of them. Blitz, Hammer, Fordo in the middle, Colt, and Havoc. And Havoc is one that I got from uh, Lego Master Cole here on YouTube. I bought that off of him, really happy I did. In the back, uh, let's see if you can see that, we have Commander Fox, Captain Fox Phase 2. We have Cut Up with the number 4, and number 1 is Heavy, of course. So, the Domino Squad was almost complete. Um, it was Heavy, Cut Up, Echo, Fives, and forgot the other one name. Um, in the back, you can see the Orto Plutonia set with Plo Koon in snow gear, Obi Wan snow gear, Anakin snow gear, Captain Rex in snow gear, Kit Fisto in snow gear, and Tai Sen. The one I don't have is the regular uh, snow trooper or five of first snow trooper, but I don't really care too much for him, so I won't be getting him, I think. Um, going to this display in the back, we have Chewbacca, Mace Windu in his clone outfit. This is this phase one type. Windu, I mean Phase 1, the first figure from me is Windu that came out in the Clone Wars line. Not the best figure, but I still like to have it. We have Ahsoka and Space Gear, and then Ahsoka Tano that came with Rhoda the Hut, Rhoda the Hut, and a an regular Obi-Wan next to her. And then we have Ahsoka, Luminara Unduli, and Abaris Afi. Those characters are uh, definitely connected in the show. Uh, if you guys saw the show, you definitely know that. And then, of course, her Starfighter together with her little astromech droid. So that's also something that I did. I always put the astromechs next to their driver or, you know, their their <laughs> their master, so to say. We have a Jar Jar Binks, uh, Anakin Skywalker, a Starfighter. Uh, we have Jawas. And R2, two different versions of R2-D2, as you guys can see. Uh, the first version that came out, and then the later one from 2012 or 2013, which is definitely a very cool upgrade. C-3PO, Anakin Skywalker, Quinlan Vos, Sai Tin, two different versions of Anakin Skywalker in the back. You guys can see that. That other droid, forgot his name, we have Padme in her, is it Blue Shadow Virus outfit? I'm not quite sure and Anakin in space gear. Then, of course, next to Captain Jay Fon, we have, um, I mean, this is Kit Fisto Starfighter, so Kit Fisto next to his own Starfighter. And, of course, Kit Fisto without Nadar Veb is nothing, so <laughs> I put Nadar Veb next to him, his apprentice. Then we have uh, Eatcott, I believe, and the Goldie is with him. Don't know why I put Goldie there, but Goldie doesn't really have a master, so to say, so just put him there. We have a boss, the clone commando, Plo Koon in the back. Uh, this is 
the best version of Plo no not the best version it's the old version I still have a different one we have a uh, general or captain whatever Admiral Yularen that's one and then the Mandalorian police officer then we have the Jedi Temple Guard that came out came, came out in the Rebels line but you can basically fit him in into any of your displays Clone Wars or Rebels then we have Last section here, we have Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, and of course, next to that is Obi-Wan in his uh, best outfit. Padme as well, I put Padme up there. Uh, this little orange droid is from the Entertainment Earth set. I don't remember his name, but it's one of the droids that does appear in Clone Wars. Doesn't really have a master, so to say, so just put him next to Padme. Uh, then we have next to Obi-Wan, we have Plo Koon and Maze Windu, that is the best version of Plo Koon and Maze Windu. And next to that, of course, the three droids. So Obi-Wan's droid, Plo Koon's droid, and Maze Windu's droid, all next to each other. I really like those astromechs. In the back, this is the hardest part to see. We have the last remaining Jedis for my display. ki Adi mundi Ayla Sakura, and Shakti, which is an awesome figure, that Shakti. Obi-Wan in space here and a different version of Obi-Wan. And then the last figure is the Ayla Sakura astromech droid that I do own. So, damn, that was quite a lot. Uh, very happy with my display, how this turned out, as you guys can see. Bunch of figures, I recently counted them, I believe there are around 160, 170 figures in my collection, in my Clone Wars collection right now. I'm still missing a few clone troopers, named clone troopers that is, so not reg regular clone troopers. I'm still missing uh, Buzz, that came with a bark speeder. I'm missing the Senate com Guard, the regular one. I'm missing Sight, that is one from the Brain Invader set. And I'm missing a fourth one, um, Reese, of course, Reese. But there was a different one as well that I'm missing. Count really um oh kicks that's the one kicks i'm definitely missing kicks so if i have those four or five clones named clone troopers i basically am done collecting clone Wars stuff i think i mean most stuff i do own most bad guys i do own i don't have a magna guard for example but those are very expensive so uh yeah guys that was it for my uh collection video on my clone wars shelves as you guys can see my complete clone wars collection an overview here of the good guy shelf and of course the bad guy shelf so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will be back with another video very soon so until then uh, keep collecting I mean 